Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today Zach will be showing you how we make our Haunted Forest soap. This soap is a spooky take on a woodsy scented soap, so stay tuned if you want to see how we made this spooky Haunted Forest soap. All right, let's see how Zach makes this Haunted Forest soap. This soap was inspired by a soap we made last October, also called Haunted Forest. We especially last year were not super amazing at writing down custom fragrance blends. And I, you can't see me now doing this voiceover, but I'm pointing the finger squarely at myself. I get a little creative let the like spirit take me and then get a super nice fragrance but I didn't write anything down and so then it can't ever be recreated so this is a inspiration on what we remember a soap from October last year smelling like but it's elevated a little bit which hopefully that's our soap making journey is elevating when we remake soap and I think this is that so this is a custom fragrance blend it has some cardamom, some amber, some ginger root, sandalwood, patchouli, and then we added some cedarwood essential oil. So this is a really nice earthy, foresty, blended soap. With a little spookiness, something about that cardamom, it gives the soap scent a spooky vibe, but also kind of just like an autumnal, cozy vibe. So kind of like two opposites, cozy but also spooky, which that kind of sums up the Rainbow Crafts household. So I think we are accomplishing our mission. For the design, Zach had the idea of doing a solid base color that was forest green. So that's what's happening here. And then doing little drop swirls like one on top of the other of a darker color to make it look like cool spooky haunted forest this soap along with a few others i actually designed custom stickers and i'll put a picture somewhere on the screen probably in the upper left here of this soap so i did one for this i did one for vampire blood for basic witch um and I think I'm forgetting one other one, but I'll put them all up on the screen. I don't know if we'll have them for sale on our online store, but we will have them uh, for any in-person events. And if you order one of these bars, one of the Halloween bars that has a sticker attached to it, we'll probably throw those in the online orders as well. Our subscribers will definitely get those in their October uh, soap subscriber boxes we send out. So. If you do want to uh, be in that group, it's not too late to join, and you can do that on our website. So this is those mini drop swirls that I mentioned a little while back, just going back and forth over and over again with that darker soap batter. So it's technically a dark green, but it looks dark brown, almost black, in this lighting and actually in the finished bar, just based on the colors and things we added to the soap batter. So the base was that forest green, and then the final batter that it, Zach is scraping now is using a little pewter mica, I think is what it's called, which is a dark gray, and that just combined makes it like a dark brown, almost dark black. So Zach will scrape out that container and pour the remainder on the top of the soap. And then we will zoom in a little bit and go in with some, I think this is apple moss mica from Brambleberry, one of our favorite greens, and do some mica drizzles. It's kind of hard to see from this camera angle but when we get to the cutting in a little bit you'll see that 
this is actually visible and I don't know if it's just a trick of the light but sometimes micas show up especially in the drizzle form really well and other times they almost disappear full disclosure I'm not wearing my glasses while I'm editing this or doing the voiceover so you may be able to see it I certainly cannot and then Zach will go in with our trusty chopstick and do some line work kind of inspired by a tree an evergreen tree so a chevron pattern and we'll just do this for each loaf so three passes here so outside of this soap being called haunted forest it's kind of putting us into gear for that winter soap so november is going to be our wintry collection where we have some really good evergreen scented soap some cranberry fragranced soaps and a lot of other fun things so definitely stay tuned and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those videos also we are looking for fan favorite soaps that we've made from the past year to make for december so if you have any of those put them in the comments below and potentially we'll make those for our December fan favorites collection. So we have finished the chevron, spritzed it with some rubbing alcohol, and tucked the soap away for 24 hours, and now it is time to slice. So this is what I was talking about. The mica you can actually see better now than when the soap was in its raw soap batter format. And I will just split these up into three loaves. I didn't paint my nails green to match this soap, but they match really well. So this might become a Halloween October market nail color. After we've broken that slab down, we will break out our soap cutter and slice up this soap. And we can see that really cool mini drop swirl design this i don't know where i was looking to frame up the camera so i do apologize i'll put a picture of the finished bar in the bottom left hand of the screen so you can see what that mini drop swirl looks like you can kind of get a glimpse through the handles of the soap cutter but it's not a very good view so like i said i'll put a picture down in the bottom corner But that is it. That is our Haunted Forest Soap, which will be for sale October 1st online and also in person. So definitely get this if you like a spooky, woodsy scented soap. If you want to support the channel, we do have a subscription service where we'll send you a bar or two of soap every month. You'll get discount codes, shout outs, and a bunch of other fun goodies. So check that out on our website. If you are already doing that, or at this time can't do that, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube, which helps like this video, share the video, comment down below as well. Thanks. Bye.